Hey sweet soul, welcome back to Conscious Lifestyle Coaching. My name is Rayleigh Dushin. I'm an author, poet, speaker, and healer. Today's message is what makes you so attractive? And if you're clicking on this video, maybe you need someone to reaffirm to you how amazing and beautiful you are if you're a man or a woman watching this. And I'm here to tell you that none of that truly matters, and I know you know this, but people are attracted to your light, not what you have physically, what you appear physically, though it does attract people. People will come to you because of the way you look or what you wear or what you have or what you do. That's inevitable. But I'm watching this video because there's something about you that is alluring to other people. And at this stage in your life, on your journey, people are going to come to you in masses. Um, and not everyone has good intentions, right? Again, whether that's they want access to or they want what you have or they want um, the type of community that you serve. People are going to come to you and you are highly attractive at this time if you're watching this video. And I'm here to also remind you that it's not, it's, what doesn't, it doesn't matter what you look like, truly. It's how you make people feel. It's how when they come to you, they feel better about themselves. And that can come from an ego way or a truly caring way. But no matter what, people know that they'll feel better with you, whether they text you or they call you or um, they have an opportunity to just simply be around you. They feel amazing. And it's because you feel amazing. You are very satisfied with yourself. You're comfortable with yourself. You've learned to enjoy yourself. You've learned to love yourself. And that's been a very hard journey, a journey that you can't truly explain to anyone. The work you've had to do internally and with God, the universe, the divine. And so you're coming in with this energy of the nightmares and the mountains you've had to climb alone and sharing all that self-love you have built for yourself with other people. And now they want that and they want more of that. But in this time uh, on your journey, you're shifting again. You're transforming yourself again. You're moving through another mountain in your life. And people don't always know what that is. They just know that things are changing and they want to know what that is about you. Now, why do you seem so happy or why do you seem more absent nowadays um and again people are mostly nosy uh, they don't truly care or want to be your friend sometimes again they like what you give them and so you'll know whether those people are attracted to you for good reasons um or superficial reasons because you'll be able to see if they'll be able to stay with you and ride this wave of you of transition of change and if they are able to be patient with you and understanding and still offer you compassion I still want to be in your life no matter uh, how you're changing at this time, physically, emotionally, spiritually, they're still there. And those are the people that should be in your space, in your aura, and in your life. And so being attractive is not always a good thing. Uh, being attractive means that, um, yeah, people are magnetized to you. And you have to discern as the carrier of this light, of your self-worth, of your love, uh, of who can have access to that. And you can have this leaky energy of people don't need to be in your physical presence to drain you or take from you or steal from you. It can be spiritual. It can be emotional. It can be one text message or one phone call or one post that will can ruin your day because they know how to eat at you. They know how to uh, hurt you. And that's not someone you want in your life. That's not someone that needs to be around you. And so being attractive means that you need to have very strong boundaries and very strong discernment of who is in your space? Who has access to you? How are you perceiving them? Because you have to allow those people to be able to hurt you. You have to identify with them in, or in some way. You have to be signing some type of cord or contract for them to affect you in that way. And so if someone is feeling hurt by you, they also need to establish stronger boundaries and self-worth and self-love because that's not always your intention, hopefully not ever, uh, to hurt another person. And if someone is perceiving you in that way, of you attacking them and you have made no intention you're just being yourself but it is triggering to them then they need to um sit with themselves as well and figure out what it is they need in this moment at uh, this time and you need to decide whether it's healthy for you and for them to be in their life and so again being attractive is not about uh, what you look like at this time and yes maybe because you've been on the spiritual journey you have lit up you have 
uh, tr changed your life in so many ways. You have made so many better, healthier decisions. You're truly glowing at this time. You look healthier. You look vibrant. You look happier. You look stress-free. That's beautiful. Congratulations. Uh, but that's because of the inner work you've been doing. That's because your soul has grown. Your soul has matured. Your soul has deeper aligned with your soul's truth, your soul's joy. And that's where you're emanating at this time. It's not about what you have. It's not about what you will continue to manifest and receive and achieve in your life. Again, it's that self-love and that self-worth that you have been protecting and cultivating and building with the divine at this time. And so, again, this is your reminder that, yes, you are highly attractive, but it's so much more than that. And to be wary, be cautious of how that attraction leads other people to enter your life. So be careful out there. And I want to explain, if you're still watching this video, of how to be more attractive if that interests you. So let's say you're on the spiritual path, or maybe you just started. Uh, you're interested in self-development. Um, you've been on this healing journey. You know you have things you need to change about yourself. Um, and oftentimes, why people don't change is because either they understand and they're aware and they don't want to change, they're not ready, or they're truly in denial. And denial is the scariest part about the journey. Denial is saying that I it's not even in my awareness. I don't even perceive that I'm sick, that I'm unhealthy. Um, and it's going to continue to catalyze. It's going to continue to snowball all these manifestations of disease until that person finally becomes aware and takes into their consciousness that they need to make healthier lifestyle changes before it's too late. And so denial can be a self protective mechanism that the ego does to not take accountability or acknowledge that you are a being or we are a being that every day is making choices that hurt and harm us or they can cultivate and grow us and so denial is something that uh, we all need to check in every single day what am i denying about myself what am i denying uh, into my life and so i'm taking an accountability in these moments that i can say yes to a more stress-free stress-free life and yes i can say yes to more health and so what ways are perhaps we in denial at this time as you're watching this video of how you can better your life and perhaps you're in denial because you don't think you can change perhaps you you're okay with where you're at you're okay living in pain you're okay living in honestly a mediocre sense of being when i say mediocre i'm saying maybe you do love yourself but the depth of love that we can cultivate is infinite. And it blew my mind as the Holy Spirit was speaking to, speaking to me along my journey. Every single season, I did more and more to change my life, to better myself, and to become the woman I am in this moment that looks literally looks nothing like uh, who she was years ago. And the Holy Spirit kept telling me to love myself more and more. And I kept asking, how much more can I love myself? I have a great job I have. I live in a beautiful place. I have great friends around me. But I was in denial of other things, how lonely I was, how much pain I, I was in. I had totally normalized my feelings of isolation. I have totally normalized uh, the uh, neur neuropathy pain that I was experiencing. And so uh, my journey has totally unfolded. Now I understand there's certain things I can't eat because they react to my body and I have to sacrifice uh, lots of uh, foods that are normal in society. I can't go to a restaurant and eat 90, more than 90% of what's offered. And it makes, it could make me feel, oh, I'm, I'm weird, but now I'm healthy. Now I'm happy. Now I can be a greater servant uh, to my business and other people. And yeah, I have to cook more at home, but that's okay. Uh, most of the food that's being served in restaurants or fast food, it's not good for you anyway. So it was a good sacrifice of mine. So if you're, if you're still watching this video, what is something that you know you need to let go of? You know it's harming you, but it seems so normal to everyone around you. It's it's normalized with society. Uh, smoking cigarettes, smoking weed, drinking beer. Everybody does it, so you can do it, right? No, not if you're on the spiritual path. The spiritual path means you're truly on the path to enlightenment. Enlightenment meaning you don't need any substance to feel and perceive God. Not plant medicine, not ayahuasca, nothing. There's nothing that you need to put in your body to speak to God or to feel God. Truly, you can live in sobriety. 
And so the spiritual path is the path to sobriety. It is the path to total holistic well-being. And a lot of people don't want to take that journey. So if you're not ready to truly say yes to the path of becoming sober, of eating clean and healthier and more consciously, and not saying what that looks like for you, because some people need to eat meat and other people don't. Some people need to eat more plant-based and other people don't. It really depends on what is your constitution at this time. And only you know how to self-heal. And that's another thing that people get stuck on this journey um, is taking on accountability that you are the self-healer. You can go to doctor after doctor after doctor. And still, if you're not listening, if you're not going within, if you're not paying attention to yourself and what makes you feel good and what makes you feel bad every day, if you're not being present enough, you will not find what that is. And so we started this journey of this video that you came into saying, are you, why are you so attractive? And I'm hoping that this video reminds you of how beautiful and special and spiritual you are and how much you have grown. And take a look back for a second. Do you, are you the same person you were a year ago, two years ago, five years ago? Probably not, not if you're watching this video still. That means you have been very dedicated and devoted to your soul mission and your soul path. And you know there's a higher purpose on your life and that's why you are so attractive. That's why you be, keep becoming more beautiful. You keep having glow up after glow up. People are endlessly telling you congratulations for things that you've moved on from. You're already building some other things. And so there has this, been this increasing um, demeanor about you as your character develops, as your life continues to develop towards a beautiful, and it's, it's a beautiful story, truly. And that is what people are witnessing about you, the beautiful story that you have cultivated for yourself it's empowering it's beautiful it's magnetizing and people want to learn more they want to know and it is your job as this attractive spiritual being to teach of what the tools were what was the magic what was um the lessons on your journey that you can share with other people who are not ready to walk their own journey and so you have this mantle you need to take now this leadership you need to walk to be this teacher and to allow other people to be ignited on the spiritual path, on the healing path, to be motivated in their own ways towards self-development so that they can feel a deeper connection with the divine, with God, with love, with their own self-worth. And again, that will continue to make you more attractive as you step into leadership and you're totally unafraid to be yourself and to lead what it means to be authentic, what it means to be confident, what it means to have true clarity and purpose over one's life, to be truly living in one's soul. It's very beautiful. And you are very beautiful. And I thank you for being on this journey. I know it is hard. I know that you do not look like what you've been through at all. And just know that if you're watching this video and you get connected with this community here, uh, we all know that we are traveling through very intense, difficult things. And on the outside, other people, especially even our friends and family, can't see on a daily basis what it is you're doing, what you're working on, the battles you're facing, the demons you have to cleanse from yourself. And so I'm asking you to keep being brave and continue to be this light for yourself. And I know it comes with seeming burden of having to lead in this way or how, how to keep up with the choices you've made to become the person you are. You're going to have to continue staying committed to the path. So I can't go back now to eating how I used to or living how I used to or the people who used to be in my life. If I go back, I revert my soul and that just can't happen. I cannot allow my soul to feel that again, to feel that imprisonment, to feel stuck again, to live in pain and depression and anxiety. So we're going to continue to be on this path and we're going to continue to um, be attractive and to enjoy the beauty of life it's going to be seen in our eyes on our face how we care carry ourselves at the same time we're going to have to walk through um, lesson after lesson as we continue to grow and face all of our fears ever um you're a very brave person if you're watching this um and bravery that courage is what is attractive to people as well um how fearless you are is phenomenal and people need to learn from you so be ready to be that teacher. And I pray that you stay committed to your path. If I could be of a support to you and need a coach, uh, just um, apply on my website, ConsciousLifestyleCoaching.com. It's a short application. 
then we'll have a free 45 minute phone call to see if we are online to find the coach for you and if you're not ready for that i do have the medicine garden free group coaching call every tuesday at 7 p.m you can meet other people on the path make some friends professionally network share your wisdom and i'd love to get to know you you can get to know me but that all that is not um for you yet i do have books available at consciouslifestylecoaching.com or you can check on amazon phoenix medicines a transformative journey through consciousness uh, published by otter pine so thank you again so much for being here thank you for being a part of this community i pray that you keep coming back and you that inspire me uh, to keep coming on here as well to hold myself accountable to my path uh, please like comment subscribe and i will talk to you again soon peace and love and blessings and take care